And one of the things that Penelope did when she wrote in the show was she expressed some of her fears and we knew that we needed to help her. We enlisted the help of phobia expert Gary Cox. Have a look. So for you to move on, we have got to get you to think about the past without the pain. One of the things we're going to start on is we're going to get you to touch dogs. I can't touch a dog right now. Go ahead. Penelope, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. You I hear a dog. I hear a dog. You, didn't, you couldn't hear a dog at all. Something. You, you know why you hear something? You're, you're... I'm freaking out. Wait a minute. Penelope, look at me. Penelope, look at me. Stop. Okay. Relax. Okay. When I said the word dog to you, what's the fastest thought that comes into your mind? That I'm going to be attacked. Are we going to change that picture? You change that picture, you'll change the association, you will change the response. What nickname would you give the new Penelope? Super Penny. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Super Penny, all right? So we're going to change that wiring now. The nervous system cannot tell the difference between imagination and reality. So that means the brain will paint a picture and make it real and will respond. I'm going to get you to force yourself to change some of your behavior. So I'm going to ask you some questions. And the answer you're going to give me is no problem. OK. All right? In just a moment, but not now, I'm going to bring a stuffed animal right here. Is that a problem? No problem. Ah, now nah, you're getting it. You feel some control coming back? A little. A little. Better than that. Better than a Ah. So here we go. Stuffed dog. It's, it's not a real dog, I promise. OK. okay. So let's go ahead and rehearse it. Oh, but it's looking at you for food. It's going to eat you. No problem. Oh, it's got to eat you. It wants you. All dogs want to eat you. They want you for food. No problem. Ah, now who's playing games with their mind? Me. Yes. So in just a moment, we're going to have you touch the puppy. Is that a problem? No it's gonna problem. It's going to be a dog. Oh, it's going to eat you, though. It's right. so cute. Good. Keep going. This dog is friendly. It's not going to. What if to... it's a bigger dog? It's going to look at you as food. No problem. Ah, now you're shaking your head. Now that's super pee. In just a moment, I'm going to bring a real little dog. I can do it. Yeah, you can. Okay, here he goes. Here's a little head. Watch this thing. It's the cutest thing ever. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Hi, cutie. Can you touch it? Is that a problem? Why don't you no touch problem. it? Why don't you okay. touch it? Look what you just did. Oh. It's a gross I don't believe it. Now we're going to put it on your lap. OK. No. Oh, every dog attack you? No. Hi. Please welcome life strategist Gary Cox to the show. Thank you. And before we, we talk about what we just saw, I think sometimes it's easiest just to show people how far you've come. Are you ready to show people how far you've come? Yes. More with Penelope when we return.